Hey everybody, this is Pat, and today I'm going to talk about some more future plans I have for my car and for this channel. So for those of you that have been following my channel, I, first of all, I appreciate you, those of you that have. Unfortunately, you're a small number, but I do appreciate all the people that have uh, contacted me and let me know what they like about my videos and hope that I make more. Uh, Obviously, I have not made any in, a few, in quite a while now. I've actually been um, without some videos probably for at least over a month. And it's primarily because I just haven't had a whole lot of people come out and ask me if they want to help me do the videos. There's been several people that have contacted me through the POA, some through email, um, that said that they'd be interested, but they haven't committed beyond that. Um, there's also some people that I've uh, met that were interested in doing some that were part of the production of the Prowler. And I was hoping to hear back from them, but unfortunately I haven't heard back from them either, so I'm hoping I do soon. Um, but also, unfortunately I've not been able to do some of these videos due to other things that have come up in my life as well. Back in uh, August, I had to start uh, helping out my mother-in-law. She uh, had gone ill a few months before, and my wife has had to go back to work and is not able to stay at home with her, so I've been doing that for her. And so my availability to do these videos has gone down somewhat because I have to take care of her now. So I can still do them with people if anybody's interested, but it'll only be available on weekends. Also because of the coronavirus, I've not been able to work um, since April. And that has definitely uh, hurt some of my other plans coming up. I was hoping to be able to do uh, the, there's a big event coming up in Texas that you may have noted I mentioned in some of my other videos uh, that the POA, the Prowler Owners Association is, is doing. Um, however, I'm not going to be able to do that this year, primarily because, again, because I'm now helping out my mother-in-law and taking care of her. But also, since I've not been able to work, uh, this trip would be very expensive. And to expect my wife to keep spending the money, you know, making the money, I should say, uh, to help me go to this trip really would not be fair to her. It's not fair to me to do that. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to join those of you there this year, um, but I'm hoping in future I will be able to do other uh, events and some other trips. Um, I was thankful I was able to go to Carlisle this year and uh, made uh, some good friends there and made some, hopefully a couple of good videos. I'd like to be able to do that again soon, um, at least in the future, maybe next summer. Unfortunately, where I'm at right now, the uh, year is winding down, so I'm not going to be able to do too many more. For those of you that live in more of the southern climates and you're able to take your car out and you have some interesting things to talk about your car, please let me know. Um, I'd like to still do some of these videos again in the future and just uh, reach out to me again, I'll provide my email. Uh, again, if you have anything about the car you know about, that's unique, uh, you, you did some work on the car, uh, again, please let me know and I, can I would like to have you in one of my future videos. So although this year I won't be able to go to, uh, down to Texas, um, I am hoping that maybe next spring or summer, uh, hopefully when COVID seems, hopefully settles down somewhat, it'll be more safe for me to travel. Uh, I would definitely like to do some more trips, uh, even hopefully to visit some of you that are not living near me that I could make a road trip to. Uh, especially, I'm definitely thinking it would be a long trip, but it would be kind of neat to be able to go to Arizona. Um, I've met, and California as well, I've, um, through my videos I've been able to meet some people uh, from that area. It would be a long drive, um, and if I could do it maybe in the springtime when it's not so hot down there, uh, that is something that I would like to do again in, you know, if I could in the future. Uh, to meet you guys in person and hopefully I can get my car all the way there and we could do a video then. Also in a previous video I had mentioned about some of the work that I'd done on the car and one of the things I brought up was the uh, the TPMs or the tire pressure monitors. Unfortunately those didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. I did uh, replace them. I did put new ones in from Autel. Did try to get them reprogrammed. Wasn't able to get them working. Uh, I've still left them in there and my low tire light unfortunately stays on as a result. Um, there are the people on the POA. Some of them have figured this out. Um, I think at least one of them was able to put one in from a different car, like a Viper. Uh, I might try that. I don't know at this point. It's something that I may plan for next year. Um, one of the other things I definitely still need to do as well is to get the window regulators put in. I had noted before that uh, Tom Mills makes an excellent replacement for that. And I was hoping on the way to or from uh, Texas that I could travel to see Tom and uh, see his, his shop and see if they could put that in there for me. Uh, I may still do that. Uh, probably not this year, but definitely something I'm considering next year. Even if I don't do it on the way to, on the way to another trip, I would still make the trip out. It's not too far for me uh, to travel to Indiana to do that. So definitely something I'm considering as well in the future. So again, I don't have a whole lot of people that uh, have been watching this channel. I do appreciate, again, those of you that have. So for those of you that have, I, again, 
you know, please send me your questions, your notes. Those that I can't answer, I would probably uh, refer you over to the POA and uh, post your questions there because there's so much knowledge out there that people have done and know about that I've, I've learned so much again from them. So I definitely would recommend uh, those that I can't answer to reach out and, and join the POA if you haven't already. I also just recently got a call from Randy Holman. Uh, he had reached out to me. He's another uh, prowler owner that reached out to me. He had some uh, interesting work that he's done on his car. And so we're gonna hopefully have another video with him coming up in the near future. And I hope to see you then.